This is where the Christmas market would be. Mulled wines, very beautiful, lots of festive trinkets, great atmosphere. But right now, like, nothing's going on? No, no, no. Right now it's empty. Okay. Well, I can you definitely know. see what it's not. You can see the potential. When are we getting gelato? Well, soon. That's happening. That's my promise to you. Please. Come on. Oh, this is high. It's pretty high. How are you vertigo-wise? I'm a little afraid yeah. of heights. Okay. Okay. Stay on the railing. Yeah. See you next year. You're okay. Oh, wow. Well, they've gone for a colour scheme. Yeah. And they're stuck with it. Beautiful. You can see countryside. You can. The city. Oh. It's what Milton you, Keynes oh. could have been. Oh, okay. If you don't look right down at the people, it's a bit too much. Ah. Yeah, they're pretty small. Okay, wait. A mind spear. No, okay. Move back. Move back. Back. Back away. Back away. We're back. We're very far from this. I'm guessing you've never worked in construction. Only on the ground floor. Ground floor. Yeah. You do basements. Yeah. <laughs> this is no, this is lean. I can see it. I can see it out of the bread. That's okay. It's got less calories than chicken. Why I've have never heard of a tripe sandwich before. Look at this. That uh, looks a little fatty. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to concentrate on the salad. How is it? Well. It's taking you a while to chew it. It's offering a lot of resistance. The salad's delicious. Good. I'm going to have a little bit more. It's quite greasy. I yeah. am going to need probably to have a shower after eating this. But <laughs> sometimes when a dish is local and doesn't travel, those locals have got to ask themselves why it's not traveling. Well, thanks for supporting me yeah. during this moment. Let's, um, I, don't, I don't want to be rude, but I may, um, I may leave this fella here. It was uncarved for 25 years, Rebel. They thought they were imperfections. Yeah. If you don't get halfway through this and have it split, you've got egg on your face. Imagine. You can't claw those two years back. Yeah. It'd be a nightmare. You'd be livid. Yeah, you'd be spewing. I put marble in my new kitchen. It yeah. was expensive. And that doesn't have the detail, the detail no, of this. It doesn't. Yeah. But I went to the marble quarry and chose all my own did marble. You? Yeah. Just like Michelangelo. Just like did. Michelangelo before Except you. Does. Yeah. I mean, he's bloody good at sculpting, isn't he? Yeah. I don't even have a criticism. I don't either. I mean, it doesn't just yeah. make me feel bad, but there is that element that I may not achieve. Something I mean, like my life's not over. It's close. But if you worked on something for three years... I've worked on this for three years. Yeah, on <laughs> Yeah. Why is and that And how funny? does it compare? That's my life. Yeah. It's my life, Rebel. Yeah, well... Is there a museum to it? Is it treated with respect? No, it's yeah. not. Have you won any awards for this no, show? Not even close. Something uh, in the Midlands. Who cares? Let's go. Yeah. Hello. What, what are yeah. some of the oldest remedies you have here? Here, this one once was renowned as anti-hysterical water, so it was given to the brides in the past centuries to come. So the years. hysterical ladies go like, ah, oh, oh. You just down this, and then you become Mom. like, oh, so, I'm so peaceful now. Right. What do you want to do, husband? I'll do it. Is that what happens? Or these Please. ones. It's called aromatic vinegar, okay. but was given to people who was fainting to okay. revive them. Let's see this. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Salt. Yes. <laughs> That's a cure for jet lag. Yeah. I'm ready to go clubbing now. Wow. Woo! So strange to be near a barista without a beard. I don't even know whether he can handle coffee. The perfect Italian cappuccino is 25 mils espresso followed by whole milk. Half liquid, half foam. Right. I think why I don't drink it is that because my mum drinks it. She always would have that coffee breath. It's very pleasant. And I'd just be like, oh. That's why you smell like rose water. Hmm. Yeah. Whereas I smell like a coffee. failing geography teacher. <laughs> if you're going to try coffee, 
this is probably the place. But I Should don't I want, take a seat? I don't want to be a pusher. It has such a strong smell. Okay. Yeah, All right. it's okay. You're in, you're through the other side, yeah? That's the oh. face of someone enjoying a coffee. That's... Come on. No, no, not for me. Fine. No. By way of apology, I pluck out a couple of pastries featured on these two trays. Tell me how that is. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah. You want to try them? It's low. Is it good? Mm. That's a good one. What are your Christmas days like? Christmas days, well, it's London-based. We might kick things off Peckham style. Yeah. Um, with some air pollution. And where is Peckham? Peckham Southeast, Jewel of the Southeast. Ah. It's oh, hello. Oh. Come on. Don't give up on me now. Oh, oh. oh. no, that's too much. Okay. It's okay. It's all good, it's all good. There we go. Yeah. I'm back. Watch the uh, jogger. It was the, it was the thought of Peckham Christmas. And do you cook at Christmas? I do not cook. I'm sometimes allowed to handle the brandy butter. Oh, I'm done. Does it I'm help with the Italian in. accent? Let's it, yeah. let's get in the festive spirit with this guy. That is a pretty specific scene. If you're hanging out in here a lot, you're probably gonna want to ask some questions of yourself. This is a lot of fun over here. He's still got to be the face, I mean. I'd say this is a second date kind of place. Once you've got to know, I don't know this you know would be I mean? good for any kind of date. No. By the way, this place is open. Yeah. It's just not that popular. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's had a nightmare. You know, lots of people go out of their way to avoid looking at what's inside of a person. They're very superficial. Exactly. Not us. No. This is quite romantic, this. It's nice. Don't ever hold me again. Un unless it's my final hour. And even then, I'd rather go quicker. What do you reckon your final words would be if I was to finish him? Get off me. Is that us? That's us. Wow. Russian Uber ain't messing about, is it? Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Oh. You must have claustrophobia. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you suggest I don't? <laughs> We ascend with the grace of two Jim honed spider monkeys, ready to rumble through the city in this former infantry combat reconnaissance vehicle. Driver Grigory assures us that his forklift license also covers him to handle a tank. Here we go. Allowing us to aggressively amble through traffic all the way to the banks of the river Neva. You said we was going to have a little like, look round and tour the city, but I can't see anything apart from the back of your head. Just... You're in a tank. OK. Enjoy the safety. Oh. What's the top speed? Do you know? 80 km, and it can't go into the historic part of St. Petersburg. Why not? It's a tank. <laughs> we start with Oshietra caviar and a fleshy plateau. The best spoon for the caviar is our own skin. OK. Because our own skin doesn't have any flavour for us. Speak so, for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> How much are you paying for this? Please, let's put a caption on screen now. Price. That QVC job's yours. Thank you. I'm a bit nervous. I feel like I've soiled my fist. The problem is, for some reason, I've, I've become frightened of it. <laughs> All the best. In it goes, OK. That could be the opening shot of your showreel. That is nice, actually. How do you get the egg out of the fish? So there is a special method, uh, is the milky method. Is it just a man milking the fish? Why yeah. are you making yeah. that gesture? Yeah. Well, how else should you milk a fish? But, uh, Why do you presume that's how you do it? If I was milking a fish, I would take the head in my palm and squeeze down the body. I'm just saying what I think would happen. How do you milk a fish? So actually, With all due respect. Yeah. Actually, he was, he was almost <laughs> right. The sturgeon is quite big. It can be two metres. Two metres? Yeah, that two is, that is, <laughs> that is big, isn't it? OK. <laughs> Well, you've done this before. I yeah, always find but... it's good to, to film yourself when you try <laughs> something for the first time. Well, this is highly dignified, isn't it? So just push off like you're roller skating. Have you roller skated? Only on this show. <laughs> well, you're learning, aren't you? Ta no, I need the bear back. I need the bear back. <laughs> Would you go ice skating on your own? No. So, essentially, it's something you would only do under peer pressure. Not peer pressure, but it's a group activity. Like, I wouldn't go 
There's a lot of things I wouldn't do on my own. Go on. What? I wouldn't go to a buffet on my own. That's the best time. <laughs> There's no competitors. Well, this is wonderfully romantic, isn't it? I mean, I, I prefer it with the bear. Of course. It's much nicer, isn't it's it? It's like having a companion. I feel like two old nans pushing their trolley. Yeah. Along the street. This is not Moaning. the youth-oriented image Channel 4 want to project. No, I've, I've got a couple more years on E4 yet in me. I, I know. I feel like I've been up some of the best staircases I've ever been up. So this is where the royal family would walk down oh. for the ceremony of the blessings of the water. Oh, right. The Neva representing the River Jordan in that. Yes, of course. Rather yeah. than the artist, now known as Katie Price. Oh, what is it? World's largest vase. Looks like bird bath. It's not a bird bath. It looks like bird bath. 19 tonnes, 2.5 metres high. Jasper, three pieces. Keep them going. It's not, it's not a vase. That is a statement piece, isn't it? Could be on robot wars. Could. I don't think it would win. O'Brien would give it the thumbs down. Wouldn't be a fan of it. Well, Catherine the Great was. Picked it up 1781. One of the earliest examples of robotics. What does it move? Yes, it's a clock. I feel like they could have made the clock bit a bit more prominent. The owl likes to play that little drum kit. It's a little owl Phil Collins. Just go... Ping. I mean, that I'd like to see. Of course you would. Stop, Rob. Don't walk past this hidden gem. Look, this was made in 1994. It's a statue of yeah. a bird. Yeah. But if you can get a coin on the plinth, it brings good luck. Are we going to do because it? Because that's how luck works. Here we go. What's your technique? Are you just dropping? Yeah, I'm just sort of dropping. It's a nightmare. Ah! I think you've got to hope for a kind ricochet. Yes! yes! Thank you. Yes. I'm going to have a good year. Is that cheese? I don't know. I don't know which fur coat is meant to be. Ooh. Like a sort of albino rabbit. I think that might be cheese and mashed potato. Mmm. I could have done without that. Mm. Got a kick, innit? Yeah. Mm. So this is lard. Yeah. It looks like wax. Mmm. That lard's got a rind. That's not unpleasant, though. No. Although your face <laughs> is telling a different story. I don't know how you're getting through that. I quite like it. <laughs> What's the dip? I wouldn't go in there. I'm in. Yeah, that is mustard and horseradish. That is mustard and horseradish. Yes, they love it here. They love horseradish. OK, soupy time. What soup you got? I think I've got cabbage soup. This is a lovely, if below <laughs> room temperature soup. <laughs> I don't know what it's meant to be a chilled soup, but it's very... Oh, I found a little gift in there. <laughs> What's that? It's a voyage of discovery. Are you popping that in? I'm going to try some. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's still, mm. still there. Mm. That's hard to get through. That's hard to get through. Wow. <laughs> I had to go at that like a jackal. That was impossible. Well, how have you felt about this experience? I enjoyed it. I really like the decor. Good. It's a bit like Good Night Sweetheart. It is, but without the bigamy. Shall I ask for a doggy bag for you? Um, no, thank you. No, thank okay. you. I think it's, uh, it'll, it'll get cold, will it? Look at this group of gigglers coming up. Look I'm going to see if I can get away. Absolutely no chance. Oh, you got, yes. you got away. You've got one. That's good, isn't it? You're all caving now. This is how the revolution started. One idea and it spread. This reminds me of when I used to work at Sainsbury's and go in the freezer. So this just reminds you of being cold? Yeah. Primarily. This guy wants a record this of guy, everything. Think, when is he going to sit down and go, guys, hey. get the JVC camcorder out? Do you want to see some ice? Look, I've got three hours of it. I'm very impressed. I'm impressed. Very high standard. It's a boat, isn't it? All right. It's good, though. Yeah, it is. It's all good. Look at what they've done. Celebrate it. Okay. You're forcing me to be the positive one, and it's not good casting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This doesn't look budget at all. This is too late. My room's lovely, actually. What's yours like? It is highly dangerous. It wouldn't pass UK building regs. It's like the set of Roman Polanski's The Tenant. And that's a reference no one's going to get. Ashling. Miklos. Richard. Richard. I've been Richard. saying it wrong my whole life. No, but the Hungarian ways. Richard. OK. Yes. 
the stress is always on the first syllable. On the first one. So you would go supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Exactly. Okay. With an hour to conquer its ten dialects, 18 noun cases, and 14 vowel sounds, oh, oh. or like the Teletubbies. Mm -mm. You could probably lose that vowel, I'd say. Miklos starts to get our linguistic shears tight. All the best. Never mind, Richard. OK. Finally, when you drink, you want to say cheers. Cheers. Yeah. That's how everything sounds okay. after you start drinking. Uh, how do I say thank you? Kusenem. Kusenem. I'm never going to forget that. A popular spot for students. Before their exams, they come here and they touch a sensitive part of the horse and they think it will bring luck. If you look up and oh, you, you see at the shiniest part, yes. uh, you will see what I. Uh, because I'm people have been about. rubbing it. Yeah? Give me a leg up, Richard. <laughs> oh, great. You made it. The yes. last uh, Hungarian word we are going to learn is Turk. Tuk. That's yes. Tuk. That sounds cute. And since it belongs to the horse, and horse is low. 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 The low tuke. Oh wait, no, that's horse balls, is it? Uh, well, low you tuk. said that. I don't use such words. Take the selfie stick. Mm. There we okay. go. Yeah. Get the low tucks in. Please, let's not cheapen this. There's a lot of horse to get in here. <laughs> okay. I think so, my head's in the way of the um, undercarriage. Thank you very much. It was great fun. It's very fun. Mikolos, or as they say in Budapest, Tushadurim. I would recommend the fisherman's soup with the green pork. I could eat that because with I'm that. famously a pescatarian, Richard. Is there any uh, dead animal that you'd like to eat here, Richard? Yes, please. Don't, don't let me I would put love, you off. Yes. I think I'll just have some... I'm just going to have some meaty pancakes. <laughs> What's in them? Could be anything at this stage of the day. Can you? Wow. This is good. Oh! This is, uh, hey, guys. The guy with the bait has got a harder job there. He's got a bit of a game. All right, this is good. All these faces. This is suddenly it's a montage sequence in the Sherlock Holmes. Sort of puts you into a bit of a frenzy. Like, this I want guy. to eat something like. Yeah. Are, you meant to, are we meant to continue as if we're talking? I or are we just meant to listen? Oh, yeah, which is respectful. OK. Uh, that was great. Woo! Thank you, very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Very, uh, very, 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 very welcome. Very good. Don't you get him? Where the heck are these meaty pancakes? Established 1870, 1.5 metres a second. I love it when you drop a fact on me, Richard. I have absolutely filled the fat bucket to overflow. I'm drinking every little bit of dribble that comes out. Please, don't drink direct from the fat bucket. <laughs> oh. Hello. It kit, kit unicum et sera sepet. It's brutal when they answer in English. Unicum, the local libation, is made from over 40 herbs and spices, originally brewed as an indigestion tonic for Emperor Joseph II in 1790 by his physician, Dr. Zwok. It, for some reason, still exists. We'll be back for more in a bit. We're absolute <laughs> legends. We're kind of... Ignoring the crowd's crass calls for me to unstrap my bangers, we plunge in. This is the most visited attraction in Budapest. You can tell that because of all the people. I don't like this. There's a lot of flesh on display. You've managed to keep a bit of dignity here. A little bit. I've given people so much, why should I give them my naked torso? Don't give them any more. Since the Romans, bathing in hot springs has become unquestioned. And in order to make the practice even more baffling, locals have started to combine it with chess. Well, you're white, so you've got the advantage. I don't want this to be a racial issue. Oh, sorry. Don't go there. This is the queen, the most powerful piece on the board. Move this way, that way, okay. that way. So this is Beyonce. Sure. This is Jay-Z. This is Jay-Z. Jay-Z oh, can only move one powerful. at a time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, I'll go one. Okay. Now you're... 
By the way, do you feel any better? I don't really, despite the high incidence of magnesium in the water. And do you feel like you're skin suffering conditions. less? No, I feel my suffering has only just begun. Oh. Oh, hello. hello. Going to try not to be patronising. Okay. You work on the train. Very good. Originally set up for the youth wing of the Communist Party to promote teamwork, this piece of juvenilia has been chuffing through Buddha since 1948. Dirty kids. Oh, yes, thank you. I don't know if I agree with child labour. Thank you. No, I don't thank think they're paid, so is it labour? Do you get money to, to work here? Um, no. What have women fought for? <laughs> Only to have our daughters working on trains for free. This is your daughter? Yeah. Well, this is an embarrassing way to meet up again. Mm. There's some great gobbing opportunities from up here if we were punks. Yeah. Were you ever one of those kids, one of those teenagers who used to spit? Yeah. Well, I did come from Ipswich, but no. You do not want to have an argument at the top of this. No. Because it's 1km, 15 mins. That's a long sulk. I've done it. You sat in a sulk for that long? I've gone days. No, no, it's fine. Fine, right, I'm fine. I, I just feel like there's something wrong. Seems like you're putting that on me. Do you read on me? Sorry, I was just trying to read. It's just... You, do, you, do you want to talk about something? It just feels like your silence is very loud. <sighs> Why don't you just say what's on your mind rather than telling me how I feel? Oh, you're good at it. You're so clever at that. Thank you. Oh, you must be a nightmare to be married to. Oh, it's tough. With a belly full of hoof and paste, we trundled towards Teide National Park, approved by the dudes at UNESCO as a World Heritage Site for its superlative suite of landforms, which makes it sound like an ad for DFS. The sofa people. Good people. I'm going to leave the keys in, okay. so if someone wishes to take it, they're welcome. We arrive at the lunar landscape of Las Cañadas, blasted by centuries of eruptions into a pit of pumice stone. I've introduced a lot of gravel into my shoe. Look. Oh, gosh. Yes. That's the overwhelming sensation yeah. of being where the 2010 remake of Clash of the Titans was filmed. Here. Here on this lunar landscape. It's also important to note that it looks warm, but is freezing. It is cold. It's very high. It's raining below us. We're up above the rain. It's not right. It isn't right. It's right. Humans shouldn't be permitted to do this. It shouldn't be higher than rain. The park's main POI for its three and a half mil annual visitors is Mount Teide, the third highest volcano in the world. I mean, you really have to give it to mountains, making you really feel your size. You know, I, I feel insignificant in all sorts of topographies. Beaches, office buildings. B and Q. At the volcano's base are the Roques de Garcia, twisted pinnacles of lava formed as a result of erosion. Roque Sinchado. So impressive. AKA God's finger. Wow. But to me, it does not look like God's finger, because as we know, God is Caucasian. Absolutely. Like a dignified BG. I personally love rocks. You have history with rocks. I took okay. glaciology in college, so I have a good understanding of rock striations. Yes. But really only in one region of Ohio. These seem like they've been here for quite a while. I think they've been here a while. Wow. So have you seen enough of God's big toe? I think we've seen enough rocks, which yeah. was a lot of rocks. Yes. We didn't skimp on rocks. No. Let's head off. This has been bounteous. <laughs> Eyes drunk with dust and data, we stumble forth into night. I'm a little disoriented by how dark it is, but I'm choosing to trust you. Well, that's, that's an error, because I can't protect you. All I can do is offer you this stargazing tour, which I've pre-booked and is prepaid. Wow! Hi. Hi, good night, welcome. Nice to meet you, Hello, I'm Carmelo. You. I'm nice Richard. to meet you, Carmelo. Because of its clear skies, clean air and high altitudes, Tenerife takes bronze in the best place to view stars from competition after Chile and Hawaii. Is your first time looking the night sky? I've looked up before, Yeah. Um, but unless it's the plough, I'm lost. No, I've never ever even looked up. No. Don't worry about that. The North Star is that star that oh, you wow. see there. Yeah. Distant from us, 
431 light years. Oh, we are observing the light with a delay of over 400 years. Jacobean period. That's Holy when that crap. Light so I'm looking off. at Jacobean light. You are? Yes. Wow. This is light with roughs on. When we observe the night sky, always we observe the past, never is present. I think Carmelo's the new Oprah. I'm so inspired by everything yes. he's saying. <laughs> yes. We wrap our retinas round some of the 83 of the 88 officially recognised constellations that can be seen from Tenerife and the odd planet. Shut yes, the door, that's yes, Venus. Yes, we just yes. saw Venus? This is excellent. Before Carmelo gets astrological on our asses. I am Gemini. Gemini. Gemini is here tonight. He didn't seem very enthusiastic about Gemini. Well, thought. you know they're sneaky and two-faced. So you're saying like a twelfth of the population are just snakes? That's the situation with Gemini. Unfortunate. Gemini is very beautiful. We have the body, the legs. The whole package. Yes. But the word he used was beautiful, not sneaky. <laughs> I totally hear you. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to let this one go. This has been extraordinary. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. It's Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you, Carmela. Yeah. That's so nice. Very much. Be careful. Are there a lot of jackals out here? After a savage off-camera encounter reminiscent of the Revenant, day one ends with a newfound respect for the wild. Gone for a yacht rock look. Mike, you guys ready to go? Yes, thank you. Skipper Mike takes visitors on a 90-min motor around Miami, but, and I feel it's my duty to warn you in advance, he does sometimes use the word sexy. And with these head turns, who the heck can blame the guy? So where are we now, Mike? This is downtown Miami. This is the sexiest place on the planet. People come here to have a good time and let loose and have fun. Sounds like hell. Miami's deep water harbor stations many of the world's utterly pointless yachts. If I wanted to put an offer in for this boat, what would I have to start the bidding at? Pretty safely be over $100 million. $100 million. Owners of yachts like that actually pay around $50,000 per night to be parked there. 50 grand a night parking. That is galling. Can you do that by text or do you have to have the change? Our thought stomachs duly fed, we throttle on to check some of the land-based success on one of Miami's multitude of man-made islands. And I use the word people twice in a sentence. The people happy with people just looking into their houses from the vantage point of a boat? You buy a house on an island, it's called Star Island. Yes. People are probably going to be coming by your house. I, to be honest, I feel like they're invading our privacy. I feel a bit observed, yeah? This is the biggest property on Star Island. Each one of these palm trees costs $10,000. Shut the no. door. These are South African date palms. They all stopped growing at the same height. He wanted this effect. You're out of you your mind. You paid 10 grand to get palm trees that grow to the same height. But you could cut them in all uniform. Whose house is this, Mike? This white one used to belong to Julio Iglesias. Look at the state of those palm trees. Sort your palm trees out, mate. I'm embarrassed for you. This is the house of P. Diddy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's normally when the Diddy. cushions are out right here, that's how we know that Diddy's in town. Did he put the cushions out? Was that Diddy asking somebody else to put the cushions out? Did, did, they, did Diddy done it, or was it somebody else that done it, and then Diddy thanked him for it? I can see you in a house like that. Yes. Breaking in. Yeah. Trying to take what I can under cover of night. You get the crab, we remove both claws from the crab. We throw the crab back into the ocean. It's able to regenerate within 18 months. <laughs> they don't regenerate. Really. They do. But you've just yeah. got your claws back, 18 months, and you get caught again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 18 ruddy months to get this thing back. <laughs> Bloody Joe. <laughs> He's back. Sadly, the sparky impro was brutally truncated by a slab of slaw. This is even better than the one at Pizza Hut. As an impenetrable barrier to grease is tied around my bulging torso, the bounce flows like ginger ale. When was the last time you wore a bib? This morning. My teeth bib. There's too much of a social stigma against bibs. These are normal, sensible precautions, but a lot of people are too shy to take them. Oh, I pick this up. You pick this Manually. Up. With your hands. Mano to mano. I'm taking this off. And then you wiggle. Oh, it's tough. Yes. Oh, perfect, you got it. A crab me lollipop. Cheers. Close? Quite close. Excellent. Your That's eyes lit up in a way that they really, they genuinely enjoyed that. That's excellent. Sauce. In. Oh. There's the eyes. There's the eyes. Cheeky. I'm going in again. Ooh. 
Oh, it again? It's continually surprising. I've never experienced sea meat like this. If I had arms this tasty, I'd regenerate them as well. You're surprised they don't eat themselves. Like the trash we are, we begin our undignified demolition. <laughs> Feels like we've never been fed. We're eating like a scene out of Brewster's Millions when it's just one. <laughs> this is free. <laughs> I've never been so utterly consumed by a meal. Who's consuming who? It's unbelievable. Wow. Mm. We now know why Billy Joel wrote all those up-tempo songs. That was a meal. I'm very happy. It's amazing. And he's never happy. Yeah, and I can barely make it through life. Untie me, Orlando, untie me. Yeah. If I could kiss you without an incident, I would. Go for it. Okay. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Which one would you recommend for somebody who's had quite a bad trauma, a neck injury? I would do something uh, very high in anti-inflammatory. We sell about like a hundred of these a day. Does he rub that onto me? No, you. It's the shot. So you oh, drink, drink it up. I just inject that straight into the neck. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do suggest okay. not thinking too much about it, so wow. that you don't have time to. Don't think too much about yeah, it. Yeah, just just shoot drink it up like a possible. shot. Exactly, like okay. tequila. Okay. Cheers. What are we on? Cheers. Spring break. One, two, three. That's too spicy. That is beautiful. It's very it's great, spicy. Right? Honestly. How's oh. neck? One, it's still I've not seen fluid like that. Legally, it's still a whip blush, but it's better. I was going three miles an hour. What do you make of this convertible experience? Do you like it? From a UV perspective, yeah. a disaster. Have you creamed up? I'm fully creamed up. That is a nice skyline. Yes. Don't you look at it. You watch no. the road, OK? Over there, we've got the docks with some nice big cranes for heavy lifting. Don't you look. You no. look at the road. I'm 10 and 2 uh, all the way. The other thing is you're driving on the left-hand side again. It's one way, it's a motorway. I mean, it's a good job I'm not of a nervous disposition. You're in very safe hands with me. I'm just sort of telling myself that nothing bad can happen because we're on TV. And yes, it could. They couldn't show that. Oh, they wouldn't show it. But they'd edit what footage they had and try and parcel it as some kind of shoddy tribute. This is eerie now. What would make a gator attack me? Basically, you'd have to aggravate him more than anything. Because a lot of people just don't take to me, Jesse. A lot of people just don't like me. I think, to be honest, part of the problem is that you're wearing real flamingo shoes. I am. I am dressed like a flamingo. One right in front of you on the left. See? Here we go. He's coming for you. He's coming, oh, He's coming for mama. you. Stand on one leg now. Oh, Stand on one leg now. That is not a friend of mine. Rod, Rod, Rod. Oh, God. Flamingo. Over here, Flamingo. Oh, yeah. They speak flamingo. English. Show your shoes. They're circling us, Jesse. Yeah. What do they want from us, Jesse? We're, in, we're actually in their dining room, so we're just curious to see what's moving around in Maybe their Maybe we should go through room. to the lounge. Yeah. Part. Oh. Hey, they're one of the very few animals that hasn't went through very much evolutionary change since the age of the dinosaur. They're much more beautiful than I was expecting. <laughs> You know what? I'd say their beauty takes second place to their absolute terrifying nature. Yeah. <laughs>